insight to Tommy Rose High School recruiting mm-hmm. process. So all you high school kids, y'all better stick around with us. I tell you, we about to get it in. Yeah. Woo! <laughs> Twitter, Instagram, Lonnie Ratliff, 
And at right. number four, he's a QB, Duluth High School, those Wildcats, <laughs> class of 2022. Oh, yeah. He's the QB, and he's he's doing his thing already. Yeah. So he's our player spotlight of the day. So we about to roll into a game teaser. Right. And with, you know why he our player spotlight? Right. This dude threw over 450 yards last week. Right. In passing. one game. One game. Passing. In he the air. He's sitting at the top of the region. Right. For passing as a QB. Yep. Hey, yep. this kid is definitely one to watch. Make sure... You check out, check him out, and stay tuned. Right. Get your game up. Woo! Get What's your going game on? on. Yes. yes. Yeah. We got a lot of people checking in from Dallas, Texas, Georgia. Mm-hmm. We got definitely Forest Park is checking in. Virginia checking in. Everybody checking in. Yeah. We appreciate y'all showing us some love. Right. We definitely, definitely want to show y'all some love. We do. We got a hot topic today. We do. We getting it. It's all about that high school ball. Right. It's going down. It is. Insight into Tony Romo's high school recruiting process. Yeah, we want to give these high school players you know, inside look at what some of these other athletes are putting together the process and what they can expect, to, you know, to go right. through. Right. So we know he played for Dallas Cowboy, and now he's a commentator of the right. games and stuff like that. But he had an interesting journey as far as, mm-hmm. you know, he became this really great quarterback in the NFL, but his journey from high school to college was pretty interesting. Yes. And that's what Check we're going to talk about. So let's get into that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to share the screen. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. We'll share the screen, share each other here. Right there. Oh, yeah. Hold on a quick second. Let me pop us over here to the side so we can see everything. But, yeah, so we're going to go to the screen. Um, 
the NCSA had a really great blog going on about what high school football players can learn from Tony Romo's recruiting process. Absolutely. So that's what we're going to go through and just dialogue for a little bit. Cause and Cab checking in. We see you. Hey, shout out to them. We love it. All right. Since most people don't know that Tony Romo was a former Dallas Cowboy quarterback who transitioned from um, barking signals in front of thousands of NFL fans to a star in the, um, in the announcer's booth where he um, adds insight commentary and entertains millions of fans each week. Mm-hmm. What most people don't know about is Romo's unlikely journey from high school athlete to star college quarterback. That's what we're about to get into. Despite stats and awards, Romo's talent went unnoticed. The four-time NFL Pro Bowl and second-team All-Pro player actually struggled to get college recruiters to take notice of his football skills. A multi-sport athlete, I didn't know that, but we know it now, Romo didn't focus on football until later in high school. As a two-year varsity starter for Burlington High School in Wisconsin, Romo threw for 3,700 yards and 42 touchdowns. Those numbers were good enough to gain him all state honorable mentions his junior year and senior Mm -hmm. year, but they weren't enough for top scouts to take notice. Let's move this up. By limiting his options, Romo limit his offers. Romo Mm. waited for the University of Wisconsin or any Big Ten school to come knocking at his door, but none did. It's likely the no-star, unrated QB from Wisconsin was limiting his college options and could have used some support from a recruiting service such as the NCSA. Very important to have um, people out there representing you and and scouting out for you. A support team, a support team. That's what it's all about. One representation, um, our representations provide prospective recruits with the tools they need to get college recruiters um, to notice their on field talents and find the right school where they can be successful. Yeah, that's so important. So not necessarily that you have to use the NCSA. You can, of course, but there's other recruiting um, opportunities out there. There's other people that are out there that have connections with college um, coaches and that kind of thing that can help you along the way or kind of can just guide you. Right, because what a lot of athletes don't know is that you want to find a school that's a fit for you. Exactly. Because, I mean, there's a lot of schools out there and you might get a lot of offers, but you better, hey, you need to check to see whether you're going to be playing. Right. What the kind of chart looks like. Right. All kind of questions you need to ask to make sure it's a great fit for you. Right, Exactly. Um, where we at? Where we at? Where we at? Choose your path early. Right. Choose your path early and start getting noticed by college recruiters. Mm -hmm. Being a multi-sport athlete is a rare and exceptional talent to have. However, Romo's many interests may have caused him hesitation. Mm -hmm. Burlington's athletic director has stated that in high school, Romo felt basketball was the best sport. Romo himself was admitted. Romo himself has admitted that he never considered playing college football until his senior year. After considering all of his options, he decided that football is what he wanted to pursue. Mm. Determining where your passion lies early on will allow you to invest your time in refining your right, the right skills and finding your best college fit. You need to market yourself to a college recruiter pr- prior to your senior year in high school. And the sooner you decide whether you want to play at the college level, the sooner you will bring your recruit. The so- let me read that again. The sooner you can um, you can be in your recruiting process, the sooner you can start. I'm gonna say your recruiting process. Right, That's- we're gonna change that up. A right, little bit. if you have a high school <laughs> student athlete who's serious about playing at the next level, fill out one of the free athletic profiles and begin your recruiting process. And you can hey. begin that with the NCSA or anybody. As long as you start that process, exactly, you got to make that decision early because the earlier you make that decision, the 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 quicker you can start refining your skills. Right, because there's a lot of questions that need to be answered, a lot of things you need to find out about the university, about the area, the location, right, all that kind of stuff to see if it's a great fit for you. Mm -hmm. So I see Tony Romo started in senior year. That is kind of late. So once you get into high school, you need to start hitting the ground running. At least getting everything situated. That's why it's important to get good quality film so you can definitely send out to all of these scouts and the coaches and that kind of thing so you can get your looks early and then attend some camps as well. Right. And if your parents don't know what you need to do, because a lot of times parents don't know, you can ask your coach, your high school coach or your your rec Mm -hmm. ball coach. A lot of them know the process or they might know some one 
Who knows the process that and, can help you? And out? actually, too, you can ask Twin Sports TV. Hey, we know we some stuff. We don't know everything. We but don't we know some things. Right. And if we don't know, we can try to find right. out for you. Because that's do one research. thing about us. We do research. Right. And we like to get the knowledge and the truth and to know what we like to help people. Right. So they don't have to struggle along the way. Right. So that kind of thing. So we, we gonna, maybe we should start a segment with that. Ask us some questions. Help right. If you want to know, what we know. Exactly. That's if you want to know what your athlete, you know, the. What the path they should take. You have some questions like we're in high school as far as what, what recruiter, you know, your kids should go after or I don't know. Or even just simple questions as what position you think your son fits or, or child right. fits best in a particular sport. Because a lot of time in rec ball, they go both ways exactly. or some kids don't even come off the field. They, they play, play everything. Right. So when you get to high school, a lot of times you got to make that decision. Offense, defense, what do I really want to uh, play unless you're just exactly. that ultimate baller and – and I know sometimes parents, they kind of can be blinded by their kid and just like, oh, I want them to play this particular position. And right. then sometimes it just don't end up, end up that way. Right. I mean, because guys grow up, especially, guys, I guess, guys and girls. But, you know, guys that body shapes change and mm-hmm. that kind of thing. So you got to look. They might be a little short, maybe middle school, elementary, but somehow high school, they shoot up. Right. And so you might want to change position or that mm-hmm. kind of thing. Or you might not grow. So you exactly. might have to make that make decision. Right, right. That kind of thing. And a lot of times, you know, and parents are so emotional about that. So it's good to have an outside okay. source to come, in, right, to come in and help out with that. Kind because of. we but have you, been objective in a lot of athletes out here. A lot mm-hmm. of people say, oh, they're female. They don't know what they're talking about. But you know what? We do sometimes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. A lot. Because we ain't going to tell you nothing wrong. If we don't know, we ain't going to tell you. Right. That's, that's point blank. I don't know why these people out here act like they got to know everything. Nobody knows everything. You right. can research and do your own research. But what we are going to try to tell you the truth. Mm-hmm. And what we think is kind of our opinion, you can take it and do what you like with it. Right. You know, somebody got a question. Hey, twins. Hey, get your game up. Hey, TT. Hey. hey what's going on? We need you, girl. On? We looking for you. Right. Hit us up. <laughs> <laughs> I hey, love it. Hey, if you got a question, anything about sports or whatever, hit us up. Let us know. We're going to have a segment up there. Just yep. ask the twins. Mm-hmm. Get it in with the twins. Get What's it in question? with the twins. I That's like going to that. be the segment. Right. Because a lot of people always ask us all the time about sports, about athletes, or what mm-hmm. they should do in the process, especially when you start Student getting athlete. athlete. Yeah, especially with those grades. Now, see, this one here, she good with mm-hmm. that education part. So we can lock it in, making sure the kid is, is on the right path and the page and all that kind of stuff. So, yeah. hey, hit us up. Get it in with the twins. Ask us what you want. But we, we do know right about now. We're yeah. going to hit the, we're going we're gonna to show this video of the Brookwood, um, Brookwood the Broncos, Broncos going against those Mountain View hey, Bears. Shout out to Coach Cooper. Shout out to Coach Eddie. Oh, shout yeah. out to everybody in the, in the bunch. So that's and what all we gonna, those kids. We're going to get we into them. that right now. Woo. Peace. Oh. It didn't happen. It didn't happen. happen right now, but it, it will come. Happen. It, it will, will come right here, though. It will. So give hey, me. Once you make a mistake, you just got to change it and correct it. And right. it's okay, because you know what? It's our show. Sports Meets Music. It's Twin Sports TV. We can do it. Let's see. get it in. We are live in Georgia, and you're watching Twin Sports TV. And this is our Get Your Game Up highlight segment where the cameras roll. We'll let anything goes. We're here for the big game of the week. And oh, we yeah. With, with a whole lot, lot of football. football. Who we got on the field? Hey, we got the Brookwood Broncos yeah. going against the Mountain View Bears. It's a nine and under. They about to hit the field. They about to get it in. You're watching Twin Sports TV. Get your game up. Woo! Get, get them up, up, baby. Yeah.
we are live on the field and you're watching Twin Sports TV. And it's halftime and we down at the game with the Mountain View Bears versus the Brookwood Broncos and the score is... Hey, the score is 6-0 to zero and those Broncos are on top. But we'll see what happens after the half. You're, you're watching, watching Twin Sports TV. TV. Get your game up. Woo! We are live on the field, and you're watching Twin Sports TV. And the game just ended, and it was a great ball game, but win or lose, you're, you're watching Twin Sports TV. TV. Get your game up. Woo! Twin, 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 twin. twin Sports TV, get your game up. Hey! What's going on? This is our Sports Meets Music. This is our live podcast. Y'all know how we do. We appreciate all of y'all turning up and showing up, showing out with us. It's a sports and the music. So I got a, I got an artist real quick from Atlanta. Mm -hmm. His name is J-Rock. He's J been hitting the scene. He's been doing this thing for a long time. Yep, so I want y'all yep. to check out some sounds from him. And let us know what you think. Yeah. <laughs> 
support him across all social media platforms. Go get that. Yeah. Numbers. Hey, the new face of sports media. That's us. That's Twin what sports we do. TV. We in the building, y'all. We Make are. sure y'all follow us. Go to our website. Go to our YouTube channel. Hit oh, that yeah. subscribe button. Hit that like button. Make sure you go smash it. We appreciate it. You know, our show is broadcasted in five, six different states. Oh, Georgia, yeah. Mississippi, Tennessee, Arkansas, Hey, North Carolina, South Carolina, Virginia. Make sure you go watch our show. If yes. not, then go to our website at twinsportstv.com. Oh, yeah. And definitely you can get it. We appreciate it. We love you guys. We do. Sports Meets Music Live Podcast is we going out. down. We out. Peace.